Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. A Monte Tarot reading November 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of the Virgo month, uh, this is going to be uh, the Prince of uh, sword, of Swords, that stands for the Knight of Swords in the traditional tarot deck, followed by the Princess of Cups, which is the challenges that you need to overcome here, this stands for the Page of Cups in the traditional tarot deck. Furthermore, we do have the Four of Cups, which is the intentions, uh, the, the best intentions that you can have throughout the month, or in other words, I, I, this situation, this position here can be taken as well as the best possible course of action. The, thir the fourth card is going to be uh, the lesson that you need to learn throughout the month, and that is going to be the Knight of Swords. And uh, it's correspondent in the traditional Tarot deck, it is the King of Swords. Or, or this position can be taken as well as, well as a, um, why this is all happening. And the last one, it is the uh, energies that are to support you throughout the months. We do have the Empress card. Okay, so quite of an, an interesting one is what we do have here. There is a definitely a triangle, either a love one or a, a career one. <clears throat> And uh, it seems that you will have to deal and tackle with it. But before we go into all that and pick up the cards one by one, Virgo, let's uh, run down the cards one more time. So we do have the Prince of Swords as the general topic, followed by the challenges here of the Princess of Cups, which, yeah, it stands for the challenge. Then we do have the Four of Cups, which represents the... Um, intentions the best intentions that you can have or uh, the best possible course of action afterwards it is uh, the knight of swords which stands for the lesson that you need to learn and the last card here that we do have is going to be the empress card which is the uh, energies that are to support you throughout the month all right so um the situation will revolve around this person here that is going to be the topic for you it is the prince of swords and is going to be catalyzed by the tree of wands very interesting so we do have an, an active friend and that person that comes around it has that idea of growth either career or relationship wise but his idea doesn't come out of nowhere his or hers idea i mean it is just what they do is that, is that they understand or recognize that they have already established solid patterns, all right? They have already are sitting at a certain, not even a milestone, but let's say a fulfill 
desire or a fulfill wish of theirs, they're pretty much finding themselves in a very, very good spot, which you that is, okay? And from here, they only think that they, they do understand or they do recognize that the only thing to become better or to grow is to challenge the situation or simply to go for more, okay? To place yourself a, a bigger goals, bigger tasks, more challenging endeavors, more challenging uh, enterprises. Now, in, its their, in their nature, that person is very courageous and as well very, um, I would say, tenacious. While the word is not exactly tenacious, let's say that they laugh in the face of danger and in the face of uh, difficulty. They are with very sharp and keen mind and usually are very... Um, acute when it comes to uh, um, when it comes to understanding what needs to be done and uh, finally however whatever decisions they are to do throughout uh, this month in regards to you and in regards to your mutual situation these decisions are always going to be consulted with uh, with the emotional states of both of you as well so th from here i could say that the this this person their least intentions are to hurt you in any way okay uh, but once again uh, they're not going to make uh, any decision against their logic as well so uh, you need to give them a, a room to play with the options available that they have in front of themselves so from there we go to the next one. Oh, one more thing I, w I wanted to say in regards to these two cards so the intentions of this prince of swords here it is to fulfill a, um, an idea or a goal that you both had discussed back in the days, maybe a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, or maybe a few years ago. They could now come into your life and, you know, giving you the means, or not even the means, but kind of like poking you for that idea that you both had and that now it is time to develop this idea. However, we do have the challenges and that is going to be another person, Princess of Cups, and is going to be catalyzed by the Five of Cups. Not much of a challenge, uh, to be honest, because um, this one, it is already accepted the defeat for what it seems, or kind of like they do have a backup plan in this particular case. While they had placed a, a good hopes into, or big hopes into continuing further uh, with you, they also, like I said, had a contingency plan. If it doesn't happen with you, uh, th 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 they are going to have a different thing to hold on to. No different than, for example, if it doesn't, if they cannot make a relationship with you, well, they have different suitors to make a relationship with something from that sort. What I mean here, it is that it's not going to be a big deal for them, not you not obliging to their points of view, because what we do have here, it is a clash of their points of view. Now, this person, the, the uh, Princess of Swords or the Page of the, the Prince of Cups, excuse me, or the Page of Cups in this particular position, they do have a certain plans uh, for you both as well. But the problem here is that while the Knight of Swords have a pretty much good vision and understanding and as well are determined to develop their plans with you, the page only um, discuss the plans and uh, um, deliberates on those plans or those ideas and never actually taking an action. Why? Because in this particular position, the page sticks for the perfect conditions. And we all know that there is no such thing as perfect conditions, at least not for a long run. And that's why it's very hesitant, uh, reluctant, um, inactive as well. That page constantly changing positions and constantly kind of like reassessing their standpoint in regards to you as well. So challenging wise here, it is just allow the page to drift away and just, how can I say it, a uh, attend to their plan B, C, D, all the way to plan Z, if they have such. 
Why this is going to be a challenge? Well, because you already developed certain emotional attachments to the to the page. I'm not saying that you love them, you know, but they could be a good friend of yours, you know. It's just they, they may be a person who you are going to miss going down the road after you detach from them should you be strong enough to do it so and uh, to be honest uh, at the at the start i mean as soon as you detach with them it's going to you may be indulged with a little bit of a grief and sorrow but once you place your mind into the tasks at hand with the knight of swords it seems that you are going to quickly forget about it because uh, you Virgo are going to understand that you do make the right decision and that is well displayed here into the third card which is the four of uh, so uh, the four of cups and it is catalyzed by the star card very interesting so in this particular case intentional wise uh, pretty much these two cards are pointing that a good opportunity should be seized and in order for the good opportunity to be seized, one needs to show a mental strength and as well mental agility. In other words, think clearly. Because otherwise, you are in a danger to miss that good opportunity. Take it that way. You do had a your good times with the Page of Cups, but these times are already exhausted, all right? There is nothing more you can get from that page. There is nothing more that you can expect from the page. And this month of November, the Knight in Shining Armor comes around and offers you this growth that you hoped for or that you have wanted for. Or if you didn't want it, you know, it's displaying you how much growth you can have with them, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And instead of, you know, being stuck in the past, you have to sober yourself and just take on this opportunity. That is a the mental strength that you need to have. Now, intentional-wise as well, as these two cards are falling as a, an, an, a passive neutrals here, uh, you should not be way too, um, how do you say it in English? Well, I would say it that way. You should kind of focus more upon the present rather than to daydream for the future. Uh, keep your expectations low. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying here that you are going to disappoint it in any way, but that is a possibility. And focus at one thing at the time. Do not daydream and do not kind of like fly in the clouds. Uh, missing couple of steps along the way, but just attend to the immediate responsibilities and immediate tasks that are to be placed in front of you and the Knight of Swords, should you decide to go by with the Knight of Swords. The next card here, it regards to the lesson that you need to learn, or uh, in other words, why this is all happening. We do have the Knight of Swords or the King of Swords, the previous one is Princess of Prince of Swords, which is represented by the Knight of Swords in the traditional deck. This one is represented with the uh, Knight of with the King of Swords in the traditional deck, and it is um, catalyzed here by the uh, Ten of Wands. Well, okay, so um, the lesson is pretty strong for you, uh, Virgo. The lesson points that uh, we got to do what we got to do, right? When the time comes, one must kind of take on responsibility for not their actions, but for uh, their goal and their agenda, because their agenda is not going to be fulfilled on their own accord. And one needs to follow the rules and the, regula the regulations in other words, what it takes in order to find yourself at the end of this agenda, fulfilling it. Therefore, uh, you are going to learn that it is not enough to figure the thing out. This um, insights that you are to have upon the matters in regards to your growth, they need to be transformed into effective actions. Additionally to that, uh, clear and meaningful analysis over the situations that you are in produce much, much better results than freaking out about it, right? Like, kind of like looking at them emotionally wise. And finally, 
uh, you, this month you are going to learn that a good opportunity is not to be thrown away just because it goes a little bit outside or kind of like sideways of, of your current path that you obviously are reaching its end and from there either way you will have to decide where to go um, simply where to go from there i mean what i'm trying to say here virgo it is that your time with this person the page of cups it is almost at its end and i simply you are borrowing its time and the more you borrow its time the diff the more difficult is going to become for you to experience new um new exciting enterprises let's say new love new if you will new career paths lucrivity and etc etc simply you gotta do what you gotta do throughout this month even if that means that you have to forlorn a certain person in your life and finally the energies that are to support you we do have the empress card and it is catalyzed here by the two of wands uh, the formation it is a uh, passive neutrals and so energy wise it does look like that you are going to attend to these um, matters in regards to decision making how to uh, how to attend to the page and the prince uh, with quite a lot of maturity simply simply puts those energies will deprive you from the option of making immature decisions and additionally to that these energies will help you to understand what are going to be the consequences of either of those options either staying with the page or either going up with the prince and because you are going to attend maturely toward that matter it does look like that at the end of the day you are going to choose in your favor but simultaneously here it seems that at least at the start with those energies are not gonna allow you to raise up your hopes very high so if things aren't happen exactly the way you want them to happen you don't end up extremely disappointed and and um, additionally to that those energies will um, make you understand that at the end of the day what matters is what you do and not what people do for you so no matter how good intentions the page can have it cannot do for you what you can do for yourself and this time around it does look like that you can do much more for yourself than this page can do for you or in other words you're gonna reap whatever you sown either bitter or sweet so i do hope that you are to place the seeds of your labor into the sweet side of the spectrum. So that being said, Volgo, this was your monthly tower reading, November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.